Okay, so we are back with some uh, cookie runs. We're gonna we're gonna do at least four. We're gonna see who's available. Is there a good cookie route for Hilda Tour? Probably. I don't know if I would use a cookie for Hilda Tour specifically, but um, I think. Let's see how many are in the cookie quest for that. Let me check. I just find them very easy to hunt outside of that, but technically there's nothing stopping you from doing that. Uh, there are... 41 Hildebears in the cookie quest. So it is quite a lot, but funny enough, it's actually lower than Terrell's Ego. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, Forest is probably the easier one to hunt. Episode 2 has some really awful areas, so I think if we do those, they're fine. Mine's also pretty good there. So we'll start off with mine, but I need to switch IDs. Unless the team wants me to play Yellow ID Force into it. I guess I could do that, technically. I guess it's more what the team needs. Team, do you need a Force or a Cast? I have a Yellow ID Raw Cast, who's 173, or I could just bring in this Force. Both of them would be able to do yellow ID mines. How many cookies do I have left? A lot. Okay, then I'll, I'll bring in a force. I'll let the team bring in DPS. I mean, at some point I'd like to level the raw cast, but I'm not in a rush. This character getting levels could be nice. Oh, no Promethean. We use like 10. Cookie quests take a while. We did like two hours worth and we used 16 or something. Ish. We still, we managed to acquire spare cookies in between. So let's start with episode one then. Yeah, it's also pretty good for Easter quests in general. I kind of like it during the anniversary event. <laughs> just get everything. Oh, we get 26s in here. Let's just learn it then. Yeah, we got 39 left. Uh, we'll use, like, well, we'll grab five or so. Uh-oh. Who tried posting a link? Rip. Okay, so we do have an open slot. I would really prefer we have somebody to continue that before we do the cookie quest. You could be any level. But I would like a fourth person, or else it will be a cookie slot going to waste, which will be very sad. Uh, It is mine, so everything is weak to fire. A couple of these. I should get knocked down by the other guy. Yeah. Lock three token. <laughs> what a name. Bounce fanatic. How much hit? Twenty hit. Oh, that's decent. Okay, so we got a solid team going. If Hellcleed have some spare air ad slots, I'll just buy them from them at this point. Switch over to Gafoe Merge, maybe. At least I could get stacked Gafoe on the Sinos. Moran should not be down. Yeah, so otherwise I have to do the conversions, which is kind of annoying. I don't mind spending like a couple of PD for that, honestly. I think I have three, but I'll I'll need like upwards of twelve, so it's like it's fine. Cause I think there's three forces that need a, either a mother garb, a tempest cloak, or um ignition cloak. That's gonna be a lot of ad slots. You have one, don't worry about it then. If it's not in a if it's not in a grouping of four, I don't care. 
because they'll just convert it later. It's more I'll pay for the convenience, so I don't have to do that and go into the anniversary quest with the badges. If I add three, no, I, I don't think I have that many spare. I used up a lot of them uh, off stream on other armors, sadly. <laughs> no, just if it's just one, I don't see the point. They're only worth like half a PD anyway. Don't worry, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It has to be in sets of four. I'll deal with it later. Let's get the quest started. So yeah, we'll use at least five. We'll, we'll start with five and see where we go from there. We'll rotate through. I'm going to save some for Dango. I'm going to save some potentially for... Uh, maybe Twin Crab. So to be mindful, I don't burn through all of them instantly. And anybody else that has not done a cookie quest with us yet. But if I offered you one cookie, you wouldn't say no, probably. I missed what chat was saying, sorry. Too many chats to look at. No, you need a lot also, true. I'll pick them up, I think, by doing blue ID help in the future. So like, I do pick up a couple, it's just I did burn a lot on virus armor and a couple other upgrades. So we'll do mines. So we're going to make sure the whole team is at the warp. So the, the quest will not wait. I don't know what's being said on stream. <laughs> In case that's something bad, I really don't know. Oh, they're so dead. Magic Rock Moolah immediately? That's kind of funny. Instant Moolah. I kind of like the sepia at this area. Oh, I love cookies. We'll do our best to stack where we can. Nice level. Nice thing is if I'm close enough to the middle, I can hit the other platform. And they start spawning there. So we'll chip him out a little bit. Use his allure to help out the team. like get them away from me yeah i'm not expecting it at a ton of ton of xp here because it is episode one but it's going okay so far hello brands that i'd rather not interact with nice that deletion though that felt personal Yeah, I need to learn to not menu with my to heal. I'm gonna use that for techniques. I'm gonna make sure my setup is a little better. The problem is I don't think I have Dimate set up. Just set that up on a button. Uh that should be fine. The switch is behind. Let me see if I can hit it with Foey. There we go. was deleted. It's 
slightly out of range. Yeah, this is the quest that I might need to bring Blind Divine on. I think I got one spare. Just because they are very far from me. Where I can, I would like to Zalora, of course. Otherwise, we'll just be pumping a Foey all day long. Once these five cookies are used up, I think if the team doesn't have a suggestion, I might do some surface excal hunting and or tower. I think those are the only things that might interest me, is if it rolls with percentage. The team is looking for excal anyway. Ooh, it's close. So I'm looking for Cannon Rouges, maybe a V502, Heaven Striker. So <laughs> I might end up doing Pink ID Underground again, honestly. It's so good. Slow down the Barans. Stun lock in the Barans. Damn, that is an intense stun lock. There we go, then it just got frozen. Sino is coming for you. What drops from mines? Um uh... Mostly Excal V101. Has a couple other nice goodies, but those are the primaries right now. Yellow ID is kind of loaded, to be honest. It just, they have a slightly uh, different set of enemies that get the items compared to the others. But potentially, it could be worth also trying green ID here. Looking for V101, for example. by every enemy. Yeah, mostly I think Sinnoh Blue, Sinnoh... Sinnoh Blue and I think Barans are the things we need to kill. here to not heal health leave. There we go. Why, hello there, Double Varans. I'm gonna try to stun them a little bit with Resond. Okay, that works. Debuff time. Yeah, not bad XP. Funny enough, we were getting more XP in a non-cookie quest. Man, episode 4 is busted. Shake your head, Chan. Actually disgusting. Done with them, I guess. Welcome, Tiggy. Oh, yeah, Tiggy. I think you wanted to do some uber hunts, right? With cookies? Question mark. How did, how did that not revive? What? Oh, did more. Oh, maybe more than one person died. That's like, what happened? It consumed my item, but hopefully still dead. You go for whatever I'm looking for. I'm not looking for anything at the moment. There are more things like I'll hunt them outside of cookie quests. Except for V502. That is more annoying for me to hunt most of the time, unless a special event is happening. I can't I can't I can't wait for the Omni spawn quest. I really hope that becomes a full-on staple. So good. I played that a lot, but sadly didn't really get that many tower rares out of it. I did get a lot of XP, though. 
P Wand, Heaven Striker, Excalibur will climb with you. We can also do the uh, oh, GG. We can also do uh, Seabed Blue. I think that is a potentially really high amount of good rares. So if you're looking for something a little different, because that'll be Psycho Wand plus Yun Chang plus Jaya. We'll do the mine ones and then drop for Tiggy. Sure, sure. Kick, kick. <laughs> oh, Cleve's like, I will level. Yeah, this character is getting up there at least. We'll restock. I'll grab my money because I'm greedy. Yeah, we'll do a few more of these and then we'll uh, switch which cookie set we do. I play Hugh New World into the blue ID just so she can level. Yeah, I think I'm with Tiggy. I'm like, Excal, I don't mind potentially getting stronger stats on him. Plus, technically, my Faux Newmans might use one eventually. So I have enough, I think, for my uh, Hunters now if I unlock them. Heaven Striker, I'm always looking for one with a solid hit. Make the Rock cast feel like a god. mode feels weird every time. Yeah, I th yellow ID gets at least one Uber. Is it guild? Or is that the Nug 2000 Bazooka? I always forget. Tiki wants that guild though. Deep down, <laughs> the white ruins are gonna come up at some point. Yeah, we'll get confirmation on the enemy drops in one moment. Let us compare real quick. So for yellow ID, V101. Oh, V101 from Brands, excuse me. Sino. Beat gives lame to Argent. S red from red. Nug 2000 from Cannabins. Okay, it was Nug 2000. Again, not bad odds if we just want the V101. Excal, we have a whole bunch of quests we could do for that. At the point where I might hunt for Milla or just buy one if I get rich later. Ooh. Tiggy committing. Mom B101. It'd be funny if I got another one. My vice run will be my solo lane runs. Mmm. Oh no, there there are runs I haven't seen. Wait, there's a purple lame to Argent run? Why does that not sound familiar? Now I'm confused. Are you referring to uh, the retrieval quest? 
I got murdered. I'm assuming you mean the uh, the retrieval quest in episode one. Whatever it's called, lost something. Instead of purple, just yellow, that's fair. But here is also pretty solid. I think we were doing purple in this quest before. If I remember correctly, help Cleave requested that color. Nice level up. I'm slowly getting into not kill range for episode four. More consistent for five rooms, interesting. So I'm almost at the point where I don't really have anything to worry about in episode four. If I got another 30 HP, I'm out of dwarf on kill range. My MST is looking pretty strong at least. It's almost 1300. So my stack of foe damage will really start adding up. Anyway, let's read about health leave. Guardiana with 30 hit has been found. Interesting. I'm trying to recall if it's the Halloween seabed that's just evil or if I'm mixing it up with the Christmas fiasco episode 2 which I know is definitely evil <laughs> I remember trying that solo a long time ago I was like oh that you know these cookie quests don't seem too bad at least episode 4 isn't let me see what episode 2 is we call that big mistake <laughs> oh 40 hit laser no special that's sad Alright, Hellcleave's not near me, I can rest though. I can rest it in peace. Ooh, get that thing off me. Leave me alone. There we go, thank you team. Rip 40 hit laser. Yeah, this character is already 102. Kinda nice. Let the team deal with that. Think that worked? <laughs> Guess that works. Get some Rafoe in here. Leap with damage. Never mind. Hue cast. Hue cast doesn't need assistance. We're good. Let's walk away from the Hue cast. Try to debuff where we can over there. I do need to collect these materials at some point. There's some near me that are quite good, some are really bad. See their power materials on the other side. Got it. Run away from Hell Cleave. Self heal. Oop! I gotta start buffing people again. There we go. Some debuffs in there, speed up the kills. Some X Cal chances. Oh no. I have now healed Hellcleave. 
There we go. I've been dodging hell cleave. I think I was doing a good job. I don't think I actually healed you so far. Trying to go for a freeze, didn't get it, that's fine. Leveled up. Oh, is that vape material? Okay. So let's teleport to the other side. So many random items to potentially sort through. I'll take open your heart. A little spare cash. Mostly just want the moon atomizer here. So double check if it's anything in this room. Yes, yeah, so I think I can host the game and then buy some items. Might be faster. Oh, Cleave is sitting out. Well, Tiggy, you're more than welcome to join in some mine hunt real quick. Well, team does that. I've set up the game for them to join eventually. Escape dolls that I have on me. That put, let's put a couple away. I think having one is fine. Four is a little excessive. There we go. I was like, we're not at the end of the soundtrack. Don't lie to me. <laughs> The Olympic soundtracks never end. <laughs> right, chat? You hear the pause of the music? I'm like, I don't believe you. Or that. Cookies are worth 20k according to the, the counter lady. That's brutal. Sorry about that, chat. I think I accidentally turned the music volume down at some point. Guess that's fine. Yeah, that's good enough. For me, it always sounds loud, because I have it on a different system. See if any of us get lucky with V101 slash XCal. <laughs> We're not at 2020. <laughs> That is wishful thinking. It's it's 2016 still. We're still we haven't we haven't even gone into the 2020 games at all. We have quite a while to go. There's like seven, eight games in between. And that's only the spin-offs. So if we're counting every every possible game, then um uh, more than that, but we've listened to some of them already. Let's see. How many until the 2020 Olympics specifically? There is... Oh, I, I didn't realize there were more than... Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot there were two Olympic Games for 2020. So you have two more two more games after this. Before you get to the start of the Olympic Games. 
And no, I don't know why there's so many Olympic Games. Oh, hopefully he's saying now that he's not there, we'll find things. Or help leave. At least you got the Swordsman Lord today, help leave. Think positive, you can do it. Unless you're going for box runs, then I'm like, uh. But anything else, I believe in you, help leave. <laughs> Get out of here, Barans. Yeah, I feel like on stream we're overdue for Parasitic Gene Flow. Like we're we're now like two, I think, over the the average of how often we get them on stream. So at some point we'll do those. Maybe to end the night we'll do a RT or something. Have happy little debuffs here. Yeah, this character is basically good to go in case I want to do solo play. 720 HP is my preferred HP total. Considering he's only using one heavenly HP, that's pretty good. And again, if I over HP, then I could just remove it. So I could be in that nice little threshold longer. Although, to take advantage of that, I do need to get rid of a uh, Rappy Mag and get a real Phonuman Mag at some point. Get all those iframes. Otherwise, I'm only getting some of the benefit. Rip those Sinnohs. A rare drop, but I'm not interested in it. An egg, nice. Keep getting excited, and then I see what it is, and I'm like, oh. Why does that exist in Ultimate? It's all down lines anyway, whatever that happens, I'll just straight for for Happy and resell it. Oh, that's true. I was thinking more like a. Uh, Nidra Mag. Versus, I guess, Phonuman Max Stat. I use them on my Phonumans, I guess I should have clarified. Where it's just like a generic 145 mine kind of thing. Or 150 or whatever. I have to take that off of a couple of the forces and switch them over to the Phonuman Mag. Because I think the blue Phonuman is ready for the Phonuman Mag, because he's been capped MST for a long time. He is like 180 if I remember correctly. Chat did level him pretty intensely. Despite being on very hard mode only for the most part. Because you know, episode 4 broken. Oh, there we go. Nice level up. Almost at 1300 MST. That's kind of nice. Buff the team. Alright, let's pull the Sinnoh Reds. Remember this from last time. Oh, they're so dead. GG to them. I do like that they can leap across the gap. I always like that about them.
There we go. Rehydrated. It's not bad XP. Judging by the XP, we're almost done with the quest, though. Speaking of which... Something drugs Cure Shock. I don't even, okay. I mean, I'll go pick it up. Just kind of surprised by that. I can't remember the last time I've seen that actually draw. Oh, named Argent dropped. Nice. Where? Oh, there's so many enemies. It came with Machine? Which I think is perfect. It's actually what I want. S Red Arms. Hello. Well, time to go on a collection spree. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think I think that's like genuine. Did that say two Masetta? I think it did. <laughs> I'm guessing we killed like some small enemy or something. There we go, Excalibur acquired. I'm assuming the S reds are over here with the Cure Shock. Defense material. S reds. There's the cure shock, which I can't pick up. Um Drop a trimate. Scalibur egg acquired all. Oh. Actually, you know what? I should be doing this to teleport. Yeah, let's start using our shortcuts properly. Well, that's a good pickup. He's away. So, what are the sets on my current Lame to Argents? Oh, that's actually the only one with the machine. Oh, that was a really good pickup then. Because I would want this across basically every character, honestly, because I fight Ball Off so often. Okay, now it's up to 20%. One of these I started unlocking because I just used it arbitrarily while playing. Okay, so I guess it paid off. We're gonna hope that it, it pays off in the next two for the chat. Then we'll switch over to Psycho Wand, I think. Plus Yun Chang and all those other goodies. See that? 704 HP. Lovely. There we go. So let's see, that's three Excalibur, so I have one for the Huka Seal. Mm. Hugh Cast, I think, already has one. Hugh Moore, I don't think, has one, so he could end up with that. I do need one for Volt Up locking, which I could leave in the share bank. Ramar has, like, a generic one, I think. And uh, my Rocket Seal also has a 30 hit one, I think. The problem now is I just need to spend time unlocking them. There we go. Quest about to start. We'll wait for everybody. Perfect. Hell Cleave clarifying. And for lizards. Oh, I love I love bopping Starks with the Excalibur sometimes. 
I wish I could do that more often. A beats 3D relay, exactly, and machine for vault op. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll reserve one just for falls. Just have like a 50 dark Excalibur and going wild. It'd be kind of funny. That Baran's got absolutely butchered. Rips, rip Baran's. Dramatic Olympic music, nice. Another power material, get that later. So yeah, I think the goal is, I mean, at some point I need to level my yellow raw cast so he can use red ring, but it's not like a huge rush. I do like endless on him and yellow ID mines is fun. Or potentially doing yellow ID uh, RT is also fun. So I think both are valid. This it just depends on what the party needs. I got bodied. Watching the certain races is Nate the Great. Well, hopefully you have fun with it. Rip the brands. I'm surprised that's still going on. It must be a long match. I thought that started before I started streaming. Rip these enemies, though. on walking v101 dispensers i believe in you give somebody a v101 in one cookie that's always exciting more excalibur stone law means i'm gonna have to do a split game thing at some point in the future maybe we'll continue evo level up. I think the problem with that game is that man if you don't if you don't know the tricks that game is brutal and I only like half remember the tricks it's fun but man sometimes the game is like perish <laughs> Our way out of the situation, I think. No, thank you. Just listen to the music. Oh, must be Mario. Like, this does not sound like a Sonic song, but I do recognize it. Mario Galaxy. Oh, that would explain it. <laughs> I think that was the first game I played where I went, oh, I I can get motion sick while playing games. And I did not get very far in the game. I made the mistake of slingshotting myself around a small planetoid, and then uh, I kept looping around it. I got very nauseous. <laughs> and I have not touched the series since. It looks fun, but I, I physically cannot handle it. Another Slicer Fanatic has been found. With 35 hit, the one upsmanship. Brutal. I reached Tiki with a buff. 
Where is Tiggy? There we go. You will be buffed, and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, that, that upgrading to 45 is kind of good. When you, when you want the Fomar to never miss. Hey okay, chat, pop the switch already. Joke's on you, Barans. You knock me down. Thank you, low HP. Here's an enemy I don't want to fight with higher HP. You're one of my perfect examples of why I don't like getting HP. Like, no thanks. Please knock me down, I beg of you. It's a little more brutal on multiplayer versus Sinnoh Blues to get knocked down. But there's some times where if I stood up in the same attack, I would just die. So I'm definitely thankful for it. It's not like 1100 health would really help me either. So I'd probably still get Wombo comboed. Whereas here, they just do 400. Inconvenience me for a second, then I move on. Thank you, low HP. Never change low HP. Okay, so not much draw for me this time. Let's go get the power material. Nothing else of interest over here. Let's go back. Let's hope for a little more variety over there, but nah. And we're out of there. You know what? Synchro has surprisingly held up. <laughs> it's still at, it's still around 90. That's not too bad. So one more cookie attempt and we'll switch what quests we do. We're out to talk to the guy for money. And I feel like leading up to the other quest is probably for the best. So I, I would say based off our current party, I should probably bring a Hunu roll. Plus she needs levels anyway. DK Island Swing, quote, from Donkey Kong Country. It's not bad. One more level and I'll be like exactly where I want to be for a uh, multiplayer play going forward. Plus on top of that, having more MST means I can wombo combo the Rappies easier, or uh, the Marissas. Right now we'll just take the free ride with this character. We're, we're basically just hosting. Debuffing sometimes helps, but... All those dodges though. I feel sad, like I don't get to show off the fact that I can dodge the Baran's missiles a lot. Because most of the time it's just not a good way. There's like too many stacked. It becomes a little difficult. I'm not sure how to dodge it when there's like four or five sets of them. I'm definitely impressed by the movement when I see them do it with like... Christmas Fiasco Baran's missile dodging is kind of insane. As an example. Rip me. So unfortunate. That's okay. We got the XP anyway. Still Sonic music. It's technically. It's technically Sonic music. <laughs> We're on the Mario side of things, I guess. And then I guess they have guest stars in this one.
Another escape doll. Guess I could pick that up. Team kill those. There's the power material. Sounds like Mario victory music to me. Nice level though. I'm like one HP shy of what I was looking for, but that's fine. Uh-oh. Did we run out of songs and we're just gonna hear sound effects? Well, I would like to check the music, but sadly, being bullied. Oh my gosh, did we did we run out of songs? Oh no, there's a there's a real song. I again Question for the people ordering things on the soundtrack list. Why put the sound effects in the middle of the songs? Why not put all the sound effects at the end of the soundtrack? I think I know the song. It's like... It's Rouge's theme, I think. It's like, I'm a spy or something. Yeah, but somebody had to have put it in that order, whether it's the uploader or the CD people. In either way, I'm like, why? Hmm. Nothing too exciting so far in this run. About halfway through it, though, so maybe it'll turn around. Drop finally. I feel like with the density of the enemies, I'm like, come on, we're we're overdue for something. Event egg, photon drop. I'm not even asking for the rares at this point, just like anything. Thank you, game. Guess you kind of delivered. Perfect. The enemies are just exploding. Bison Reds. <laughs> I'm not wondering if I should just carry a Dark Flow for how much damage I'm about to take in episode 2. <laughs> now that I plan on lowering health on purpose, it'll just kind of happen. It's feeling, you know what? Let's go wild. The backup plan, pretty much thinking about it. Are there any other characters I potentially want to play? I guess I haven't played Hugh Cast in like eons on stream. Can't even remember the last time we played Hugh Cast on stream other than like a cookie quest. Maybe we did it as like a joke run possibly for New Year's. I know at one point when we were doing a stream countdown, we did some joke sealed J-Sword runs. I don't remember if that was with my Hugh Caster, though. He's the right ID for it. So if I hosted it, it was probably that, then. <laughs> the only other character that goes very unloved is the Humar. Rip the Humar.
Hello, Barans. I don't want anything to do with. Excellent. Not as excellent. I only saw a couple people picking up items, so... Not too exciting, sadly, in terms of drops. Who else needs levels? Raw cast, Hue cast, Hue New World. Technically, Humar. <laughs> Technically. Ramar, Ramarl, Rakasil are good. My primary forces don't need levels. We're playing the ult force. I could, in theory, level Waluigi if I wanted to. We're collecting PDs to pay health leave in the future. Just sitting on 67, that's not too bad. Plus, I've been leaving one both on drop on most characters. So realistically, I probably have about another 15 on top of that. Oh, I never bought basic song. That's kind of funny. Okay, so let's switch over to... Blue ID Hue New World. Let's see where things go from there. So at least she can sort of buff and debuff. So good enough in terms of support. She's not too far off from X ATP, if I recall correctly. Oh, Murphy's stepping out for a bit. Short sure thing. Oh, there's somebody that would like to take Murphy's spot, unless Murphy just means a couple minutes. We'll wait a little bit and see. So yeah, Crimson has been pulling ahead because she's been doing TTF with like one or two other people. So Jor needs to eventually get to 180 as well. Both of these characters would have a very large power spike. Might be one, might be 30. We'll wait a little bit. See how horrible this quest is, or if it's okay. I'm sure it's droids, females is the luck rating. Okay. So it's definitely the Hugh Casil's time to shine later. Let's go ahead and get a few cookies. Let's say another five. Sure thing. That sounds like it'll be Tiki, Murphy, whoever else. Eventually in Parameter. So let's see, if we do this. What drops are available? Zomba, which I've still never seen drop, honestly. Psycho Wand. Twin Brand. Not quite as exciting as some of the other things, sadly. Yun Chang, though, from Morphos isn't bad. I'm trying to see if there's a stronger set than Blue ID. I don't think there is. Psycho Wandis is too much of a lore to not go for. Yeah, I don't really see a good alternative that doesn't involve the boss. I 
pink ID looks absolute madness if we got it from Zenozel. That would be pretty funny, honestly. Purple ID has pretty much literally nothing of interest. Secure feet. Need to remind myself what the shield is. Um, they do have it in the forge now. I guess that's not bad. I mean, blue ID's already pretty solid there. Sure thing, Murphy. You're gonna wish the chat luck in surviving seabed. <laughs> I give you a salute. <laughs> It's gonna be interesting. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me, uh, let me actually take Dark Flow, just in case. I don't think it'll come up, but we'll see. Uh, Slicer might be important. Oh, did I not put it away on the other character? Oh, that's annoying. I keep doing that, where I play the character, and I'm just kind of like tired, so I don't think about putting it back. That's fine. The other character has it. It's not like a must-have. At least I'll bring like Slicer. That is, that is a collection of choices. All of them feel like bad choices. Yeah, fortunately no bosses here, at least. I had to think about... I'm used to coming from the other side, I had to think about that for a second, which side it was. Okay, so it could go here. So this should be the cookie guy, then. Okay. We've resolved it. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm gonna leave hell to the chat. I'm just gonna focus on uh, buffing here. If I need to, I can throw some assisting slicers. Nice, immediately get an event egg. So we do have a raw moral here if we need backup buffs, but I still need to play blue ID. I don't really want to play force into this. That's kind of a no thanks. Build the team up a little bit more. The insta kill is real. Well, here's our first Psycho one chance of the night. Oh wait, I think we're done with the Olympic soundtrack. Because I don't think there's any more songs. You did it, chat. You're about to earn a brief respite from Olympics. <laughs> Your reward is Sonic Boom? Question mark. Oh, you have, you have one song left, I think. So close. My bad, it did the fake out with the sound effects again. We're in the credit roll for the game. Heal Tiggy. Oh no, Fidget Spinners. It's not what I thought was about to spawn. I'm so sorry for the Gafoe. I thought it was something else. At least they die very fast while frozen. Thank you, team. 
See, I thought it was gonna be Delt Beater, and that's why I threw out the Fireball. Okay, deep up in time. Team healthy, get some debuffs, watching the insta-kills, good job team. I mean, I'm kind of playing like support force at the moment. I'm sometimes doing damage. My focus right now is just debuffing. Bell beaters after fidget spinners? Maybe. I'm not sure if the quest has a tell, but it was definitely that for the last one. Done this quest maybe twice before. It's been a while. <laughs> Just gonna casually walk away from that. That's a lot of morphos. That's a lot less morphos. I have been the laser. I like to think of the moment, I'm like, I'm helping! <laughs> that's how I feel at the moment, but that's fine. I'm gonna try to equip a hell gun next time. I think I have the free slots to do it. Move Heavenly Power for V502. Yeah, that'd probably work. I'm not using Heavenly Power that much anyway. But we'll do that next time. Oh, there we go. I did it. I did something. Get some debuffs. Imperial pick with 35 hit. Where's that on Yunchang? I'll put that on Imperial pick. That's just sad. All right, chat? I'm getting trolled. Shake your head. They roll too early. A 40 hit Lord's Club. Okay. Don't think I want that. Why, hello there, Del Beater. That is a lot of lasers. Buff the team a little bit there. Also, I just noticed the team's XP for a second. Holy. It's so high for episode 2, almost 400. With me not bringing in proper equipment. I'll take those. Look at that. Yeah. Showed him what's up. That more post is so dead. I'm not even look at him. I believe in the team on that one. Let's reapply some buffs. Do a little micro steps to dodge the dash attacks. Okay. Not bad. It's a weird feeling playing as like a hunter and getting fast XP on a non-boss quest. Like, I guess it's working. I felt like Delph Eaters were gonna spawn. Some of it might be me partially remembering the quest. I'm like, that wave just seemed too easy. Let me just fireball. It did work. It's up two of them. I'm out of there. Team with the demons, jeez. No mercy. Jingle 2! Alright! You completed the soundtrack! You did it! Uh, okay, that'll give me a good opportunity to swap songs. Debuff the team. Debuff the enemies. 
So I could see Force doing okay here, mostly just from debuff standpoint. Although, honestly... Morphos don't stand a chance against this team. Love I have negative 9% to land a normal on this creature. So absurd. Alright, that also felt like a Delph Eater wave. Like, small delay in the spawn. Just font Morphos. Psycho Wands. I want to see that banner across the screen. Oh, uh, rip. Well, 208,000 experience at uh, almost 400 XP a second. Not bad. This character sadly did not level, though. Alright, so here's what we learned. We're going to bring Hell Ray Gun. Plus... 502 since everything in there was basically hellable oh right we don't talk to that person we talk to that person there we go been a while since I didn't been doing v502 i usually just use it explicitly for box runs which is sad but very true uh what can i put away in the meantime imperial pick because it's funny uh... honestly if i have v502 i don't need slicer and i barely use slicer where's the ludicrous gun So I have 290 accuracy with that. That's pretty good. Drop this, because it's useless. So do a few more of these. This will help this character catch up a little bit in levels. Although there's still quite a ways to go. Perfect. Next game is up. I should level mid quest. This character is very aggression focused. They have Kasami, Bracer, and Blue Doshi Violet Nimadao. Freeing up as many slots as possible. Let's go grab that V502 actually. Forgot them when the bank was full and then go back and pick it up again. Just making sure this wasn't going to be like a 10 minute loop. It's not a bad song, but some of these loopers, I don't know. So yeah, hopefully with a Hell Handgun plus V502 to be pretty brutal. Indeed. They even spelled it with the U. They color me impressed. So yeah, I think we'll just leave this equipped for the most part. I mostly just need to swap to another gun for Del Beaters, that's about it. To be listening to the Sonic Color soundtrack, to be honest. Maybe. If there was a Sonic Black and White, it might be more apt. There's so much hell going on. 
Okay, I got a kill. There we go, two kills. All that matters. We're helping. Ooh, power material. I want that eventually. It's 80, which is not a great chance of success, but the fact that there is a chance of success means I'm gonna keep going for it anyway. I got nothing better to do. Yeah, you're the one that's definitely weak to it. Remember that much. I got stomped. Teleport. The double teleport? Where is he? Oh, he teleport. Nope, he's in front of me again. I'm losing this game of peekaboo. Oh, I won that one. Nice. Killing spree. So at least now I have an option against the Morphos. Like there. Like that, you know, just... My ATA is not as high as it could be, but it's pretty good. It's max ATA, but not red ring ATA. But Hugh Castile fortunately has like that little shield that gives partial ATA as I wait for red ring. Wait, Delta's have uh, not full EDK resist? I didn't know that. Oh, me getting these things forever if I ever see them again as force. Oops, I got run over. There we go, just poking away. Oh, I didn't mean- oh, I didn't realize Tiki had uh, Dark Flow out, my bad. Rip, that was my bad. Get rid of you, get hit in the face. Dodge. Teleports though, him please. Saw him for a second, there he is. Come on. There we go. Nice level up. Or MSC 3 attack. Getting closer. Yeah, without the heavenly power, I'm definitely much weaker, for sure. I was gonna say, where is it relative to me? There's too many items on the floor. I had item blindness on that one. Rip that enemy. Squid. Vintiki safe. There we go. And <laughs> Renigma with the exclamation mark love. Are you looking for a specific command or just saying good luck? The Delveter, though. I and mean, at least she's got a Garrosol. It kind of works. You just gotta hard bully an enemy out of existence. 
Oh, you got PD'd on the uh, Delve Eater. That's brutal. That's what's known as the Heartbreaker. Welcome, Edward Enigma. Hopefully you're doing well today. We're doing some cookie runs. Well, in Easter. Did some non uh, cookie runs earlier, but I feel like a majority of the stream will just be cookie runs. At least another hour. And we'll see if I'm up for another batch after this, because this quest does take a while. Still got three more. Rip these. Oh, I actually landed the Rebarda? Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. What madness. I guess I can never land the special on the Delta Def is the problem. Give me a freeze. That's so unfortunate. I don't know how I dodged any of that, I'll be real with you. I walked towards them willingly and just was not punished. <laughs> I just stared into the face of death and went, okay. <laughs> just no attempt to dodge, just right in. Hopefully you're doing well. Rid of these. So we're gonna save some cookies for Dango. Do more cookies with Edward Nigma at some point. Scribe at some point, maybe Twin Crab. We got a nice batch of five. Yeah, I just can't land the special on him. Maybe that's why I didn't think about it. But with Megid, that doesn't matter. He doesn't care about accuracy. Probably like the only time Megan would have the advantage. Just can't hit the other enemies at all. So sad that I need to buff the team. The worst time. There we go. Ooh, almost got the kill. You're dead. There we go. Put in the work. GG. This character needs quite a few more quests to level. 215,000 experience is pretty good. The problem is, like, episode 4 XP is so broken right now that honestly, if the team just wants to level characters, it's episode 4 all day long. It's not bad for going for hunts, though, don't get me wrong. We'll do three more of these, and we'll make a decision what to do next. Yeah, V502 definitely helps speed things up significantly there. Even if I didn't land it super consistently, it was still faster than melee. Let's do a few more. <laughs> I was just thinking how horrendous it would be if somebody was like, let's do a let's do episode two cookie quests, but it's not hard enough, so let's like anguish five. <laughs> Actually, it would actually be unplayable. <laughs> Just like, it would be so atrocious. Demons would never work. Hell doesn't work. Holy. Quest would take an eternity. So I'm happy this character leveled. So if I wear heavenly HP, or heavenly power, I mean. Level 25, not bad. Diggy will offer up his spot once we switch quests, sure thing. Is there anything you were looking to hunt, Edward Nigma? I was just curious.
Yeah, I figure we'll we'll dedicate these cookies mostly towards Tiggy. The Psycho Wand chances are real. Come on, Psycho Wand. <laughs> partially for me, partially for Tiggy. Just waiting on parameter. There we go. This character is getting up there in levels. 129 now. Slowly surviving the horror that is episode 2. There we go. Yeah, I have a feeling I could probably do a handful of quests. I don't think it'll be five cookies, but I could probably do something after this. Maybe two or three or something. Being traumatized instead of killed by episode two. Yeah. I I still think my criticism stands episode two. There are just a lot of quests that I don't find fun from like a solo perspective. Because they're geared for multiplayer. And the problem is, like, without having like really extensive guides. There's more often than not just really awful patterns, like kind of deep into a run, to be honest, to then just learn it's like, oh, it was doable up until this point, and now it is no longer there. And those are the quests that have like the nonsense amount of murder flowers or the infamous cross formation, where like it's fine in multiplayer, but like in single player, it's like, well, I guess the run is dead because I didn't know that was coming, GG. Not a good feeling for episode two. Some people like it because it forces you to learn the waves. I personally don't. But these kinds of quests, I feel like they're not hard enough in the sense that I need to worry about that. Can I really not pick up that PD? That is so sad. I don't even think I could drop anything of interest. Do I have an evade? I don't even have an evade material. Uh, drop escape doll, I guess. I mean, I definitely need to be able to pick up those PDs. It's gonna go for ATP on the Sinnoh. Another photon draw. Every time I see that item, I'm just like... <laughs> it's weird because it, it's called the Fatsia, but then it's like, there's another item that looks exactly like it, but it's not the Fatsia, and that gets me every time. Because there's an item where you have to use uh, Miracle Water to grow it. I think it's like Giant Plantain Leaf. And they are so similar to each other in appearance, from what I recall. I just find it kind of funny. an odd choice to make into an item. Perish Del Death. Like a foe was out there. That was rude. Just ignored it. I guess I was too close. Unfortunate. Hit twice. I deserve that. Congrats on 130, by the way. Or if he climbing into 164 as well, I believe he was 163 at minimum earlier. Nice kill. Nice little happy V502s. Think he throwing down that uh, trap. Rose in mid mid D band. Wow, they did they knocked me down with gel in 20? It's kind of bonkers. Big damage, huh?
Oh, actually, I landed it from there. That was kind of sick. Oh, I missed the shot. Another event egg, which I can hopefully pick up. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Actually, not sure. Okay, good, I have one. Yes. I have one already in my inventory. Good news. Nice. Hello, other Sinnoh that wants to fight me. Please go away. Come on, special. Yeah, didn't land. Fortunate. I deserve getting lasered there. There we go. Slowly brute forcing my way towards hitting that Morphos. There we go. There we go, nice and easy. Simple hell kills. But roughly every time we fire three times, we get a kill. Simulating quite a bit of ATP to do that. Distance to kill. Just wanted to see where he was. Nice, killed one of them. Killed the other. Doing some damage to the Del Death because I can. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and say no to these Del Beaters. I think a gear assault. Or, pff, or not. Never mind. Run out of my attack range. It's cool. So, so far, nothing too crazy. We mostly just got kind of catch up items, what I like to call them. Like, we didn't get them earlier. In terms of like PDs and Easter eggs. So, it's nice to have them at some point. That entire horde, they just crumpled. Nicely done. I think I got the Morphos there. The other dealt up this block in my shots, unfortunately. I think I did actually line up with the Morphos, it's just sadly the dealt up gone the way, is what I meant to say. Unfortunate. So many lasers. I think we're using a Dimate here just so I can attack faster. Oh, he's so close to that. Never mind. GG. The two more of these. We'll do at least one more cookie run. <laughs> like hearing the happy music as you just got like a murdering spree down here. It's like, yeah, you did it. Take that potentially native life forces corrupted by uh, the evil powers. 
We're gonna free them from this realm, one swing at a time. Welcome, Mariak158. Dan caught you live while finding your odds randomly on YouTube was the time, didn't even know if any existed. Well, welcome to the stream, hopefully you're doing well. We're doing a lot of oops all Halloween cookie at the moment. So let's set up another one. We'll do a quick little game of Ziggy, password king as usual. Parameter is using the restroom, no problem. So what kind of character is you playing with, uh, Mariak, by the way? Let us know any rares you happen to be hunting. Ramar and Phonuman. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that video... That video entered the algorithm. I don't know how else to explain it. I didn't do anything. I didn't optimize it. It just kind of like... I guess people were looking up power leveling or something. Because I've used Force before in my titles, but that doesn't do anything. But specifically that combo, people just kind of found it over time. So it would not surprise me. I think it's... Is it the most viewed video? It might be the most viewed video. There we go. So at least it's power. At least it shows that it, the videos work. To bring people in potentially to play. Yeah, and then just because of that, it then boosted it because it also had PSO. Because I'm thinking somebody searched it first, and then it came up. Because otherwise it wouldn't have come up in the first place. This is definitely the fastest way to solo level for us, yeah. For sure. Yeah, I, I think that video is so old at this point that it was back when the... Um, anniversary event gave like the 300% XP or whatever and since then we've refined what quests we use for it so we could have had even crazier XP back then if I knew better oh well such is life I guess but for now the cookie hunt continues yeah and then it didn't like stack properly with Halloween quest so it led to some very silly things happening in Halloween quest Then they changed it so that it will never do that ever again. I had one year of ridiculously broken Halloween quest. Yeah, a lot of my early PSO I didn't record because it's actually before I started streaming at all. That's like it, it, had, it did not enter my thought that it would ever be recording PSO. But more or less since the beginning, we've been doing a lot of RPGs and mixing off with PSO. I just decided maybe people would be interested if I happen to play. Since then, I've gotten a little better. Although now I'm just playing a guessing game of where the enemy is. There it is. They have been found. There's the Fatsia. Goodbye, Domolum. Domolum, or whatever. Whatever, you're dead anyway. I don't have to worry about your name. Oh, I got punched. Uh, That should be fun. Nice little Zalor. GG. Yeah. Uh, but, 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 but for any of your characters... Mariok. I'm curious. Are any of them ultimate ready? Because we could do some cookie quests with you. You're both a new viewer and you've not done a cookie quest with me. If there's something you're looking for and you are an ultimate, let us know. 
when did Infinia launch? I'm not sure. I want to say at least 2016. Yeah. I don't know if it was 2016 or 2015. I know it was around for at least two years by the time I started. I don't know if that would put it there or not, depending on where they count the years. Because I think I joined it when I in the third anniversary. Material, nice. Got a 140 ROM roll. Okay, that's not a problem. <laughs> I got me get it. Rip me. I, that that inevitably happens at some point always. I just I die to be good. That Del Death is like the real killer. Del Beaters, I very rarely die to. Del Death every time, chat. Without fail. At some point I will get murdered by the me good. It just some something will not freeze it and then it's just over. But yeah, if you're if you know what kind of hunts you're interested in, Mario, we can cater some of the cookies towards it. So we talked a little bit about it before, but I'll recap it very briefly. So if there are enemy hunts that have things that, I don't know, for Raw Marl, it would be things like Heaven Striker or Excal. There's a lot of choices for those. If you're looking for Cannon Rouge, technically could use one for that. Kill these. If you're looking for stuff for your force, there's the incredibly powerful high XP uh, underground, which is probably something you may or may not have seen before. Luck material, but no space. So sad. I'm gonna have to get rid of something. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of... Soul atomizers for this round. I don't need them. I want that luck material so much more. It's no contest. Assuming you're up to playing, of course. Some people just tune in and do their own hunts, or just tune in and watch in general. Ooh, so many kills. Just another happy music as we hell everything out of existence. Strong weapons mostly. I don't have the mag for the striker at the moment. Well. There's definitely ways to get that mag. <laughs> there are many people that raise mags if you're not into doing that, but potentially we could do that. I'm just trying to think what would be best for that. Weapon Striker. I guess it would be green episode 4 underground? Or does red make more sense? Hmm. I guess if you don't have a V101, I guess it makes sense to do a green ID. I'm just thinking out loud. Because usually, when we did Underground, we did green, red, pink, or what I recall last time with the Halloween cookies. Yeah, I think red has the benefit of, like, just get a Brave Man, which is pretty good. Green, I think, just trades it for V101, so it has, like, the better zoo. Auto V101, yeah. Because for the Disco Brave Man, you potentially want high hit. But glad you got a V101. It's a good unit to have. Oh no, wait a minute. When you said strong weapons, do you not have like a base Heaven Striker? I just want to double check. Oh, we got to get that other guide out there, if that's the case. We were just having this conversation on stream the other day. Ooh, yeah, I think, uh, I feel bad for holding off on it now, but I think as soon as the event is done, we're going to do the guide, because we were literally just talking about this on the other stream, where I feel like if you look at, like, the Affinia guides, while it is true those items are good, I don't think those are the things you should be purchasing first. Because it's like you, like a V101 is good, but it's not going to be like the same power as like having your first Heaven Striker or like your first Charge Arm. And those things are not necessarily listed in the guide. Kind of like you could get away with Heavenly Battle for like one PD, and that would save potentially what, like 15 PDs for all the other equipment. You know what? I'll donate. 
We'll give it to Diggy. Diggy Ugged. Poor Diggy. So we'll help you out. I think we could do... Maybe Green ID? I'm just thinking which character would be best for that. Don't. Mm, thinking about it. I would like to not level my Fomar to 200 today. But I think he might be the better choice initially. Rip Tiggy. He died for our sin. Our sin is not freezing Del Death. Tell these Del Beaters to get off me. Oh, I can wield the Fatsia. Or something else. Yeah, it's kind of like. More levels on Dumpling is tempting. I'm just thinking about if Red ID gets anything else exciting other than Discovery Bam, which is potentially good. So we'll, we'll potentially join with you, Mariok. We have one more cookie to go. So once we're done with this cookie, we'll, uh, you could join in with your whatever character's ultimate ready. And then you could prepare for the carry. Because <laughs> I'm going to be playing a force no matter what. I guess this just goes to show I might need another, like, Phonuman Forest of Green idea or something. So if I do, like, purple, blue, sky, green or something, probably fill in some things later. So one last attempt at Psycho Wand, but I don't think it's gonna happen, sadly. Yeah, we were just doing some Excalibur runs earlier. We did pick one up, surprisingly. So Surprisingly, usually I kind of go through those and don't see them for a long time, but I guess it worked out. I don't remember if I talked to the guy, but I'm not going back if I didn't. Okay, good. The last episode two, and then we'll have a rotation, I think. Yeah, I remember they had something that was a... I couldn't remember if it was like a mind or power on the zoo. Thank you for clarifying. I was trying to think about that. I don't think they have anything like too crazy on their zoo, which is like okay. Charge arm, charge gatling. Nice, nice. Spread needle would be great. Uh, I don't remember if I have a spare one to give you. Frozen Shooter, yes. Spread Needle, maybe. Let us see that. But yeah, potentially some of those could also be uh, Episode 1 Ruins, because Episode 1 Ruins gives a lot of interesting items. Yeah, Spread Needle is fortunately pretty cheap. And final cookie quest for this one, at least. I'll wait a little bit. I think I jumped the gun. Come on, hell. Let's go. Kind of working. Oops. Target fail. So we are occasionally getting bonus XP for getting the kill. So we know we're doing something there. Uh oh, you said you have PDs? <laughs> I was gonna say, suddenly, suddenly it's like everybody perked up. They're like, oh, there's trade going on on chat. It's all over. Yeah, definitely if you're interested in like a striker unit for sure. There are many people on stream here that would potentially help with that. Oops, got bodied.
That was not what I wanted to do. That's fun. There we go. There's the hell. I like that at like 300% XP. It's like, it feels like I'm just playing episode 4. <laughs> it doesn't feel like I'm getting over XP. It's like, oh, this is just normal episode 4 XP. <laughs> oh, episode 4, you're so silly. Oops, to get bodied. Yeah, we could potentially do some uh, Red ID Underground, which is crazy XP. Technically, at some point, I need to level a Red Phonumen. That, that'll be another time. I, I'm not awake enough to do another one of those, I think. But I can at least promise we'll do one more Halloween cookie in honor of Mariak arriving. Preferably two. I'm sure everybody here... Everybody here is always looking for Heaven Strikers with a hit percentage. Most people are looking for Cannon Rouge with hit percentage. Those kinds of things are, you know, something you do with, like, a long-term hunt. You can get away with, like, all zeroed items, of course. But once you actually get one with hit, or you get, like, a really high A beast, Cannon Rouge, for example, the doors start to open on certain quests. Teleporter. Filthy teleporter. Did you... Punch once and teleport again. What a jerk. There we go. What a monster. And congratulations on 131. Congratulations on 165. Oof, I keep whipping the health special. That's so sad. There we go. Jeez, that was taking a while. So yeah, I think that'll be kind of nice. I guess I'll play Dumpling into it. Leveling Dumpling is fine. I think she's actually at a good level. I'm not in like a rush to level her. She hit the level I wanted her to hit, which is she is more MST than the Phonumen. So there's like a reason to sometimes use her. And of course, if she gets more, it's always nice. But she hit like the, I want to hit it so she feels good level already. Yuka Seal needs a couple more levels, but a lot of those runs are not really cookie friendly. We have other ways of leveling those characters, like Red ID TTF is kind of fun. I love doing the cookie checks, or not, well, technically cookie checks, but I like doing the egg check slash material check by Yupin the Slimes. It's like we're playing an almost normal quest when I do that, due to how many enemies I can spawn. Nicely done. Oh, we're kind of helping. Yeah, we killed like two enemies there. Three enemies. I just do normal damage at this point. His HP is so low. I was going to say, can you imagine if the hell worked? Too bad. If it was me get it, might have worked. There we go. Nice little finisher. Come on, Psycho Wand. Nope, no Psycho Wand. Unfortunate. Oh, we're coming up to one of the last chances to get a Psycho Wand tonight. Will it happen? Still got a wave of at least four. It's only like a 1 in 19,000 face chance or something ridiculous. But hey, we've had people get Heaven Punisher on more ridiculous odds on stream before. We know it's possible. Also, I'm a little disappointed nobody's picked up a Yuncheng so far from the Morphos. Morphos is kind of slacking with their drops. So close to the leveling again. So I could get her up to 170. That'll be pretty solid. She'll be at 1228 probably after the level up ATP. Nicely done. 
actually kill that through ATP, sadly. It's in Parameter, slowly getting an army of usable characters. Happy little Gafoe. It was almost in sync. <laughs> We're feeling it in our heart. We're like, this is gonna get ugly. Yeah, I lured some of them the face away from me, so the team has a chance to do something. Oh, let's let's not talk about 50-50s. Oh no. <laughs> I, I have, I think, some of the worst 50 50 luck of all time. I went on a. Is it 21? I think it was a 21 Azuzu streak of no rare. It was absolutely brutal. I remember, I remember that happened because there's still a post to this day. I did not delete it, for whatever call, where I complained, slash, asked if the rares were working with Zoo. Oh, retrapping. There we go. Although it's not under Ziki Pixter name, so it's a little harder to find, I guess. Unless you know my real account name. Because again, that was before Ziki Pixter was a thing. Although I guess now it would have been updated, because I did update it finally. After not doing so for like I don't know, five years? I finally switched it over to match the stream name. It would make sense if people were looking for me to match. So sadly no Psycho Wand. Rip Psycho Wand. One day you will be attainable. Okay, so I'm within 50,000 of leveling, so if I happen to do an RT solo, it should be good there. So if you're ready, Mariok, we'll be switching over. I'll be hosting a game in Block 2 in just a moment. I just gotta put away some items. You are welcome to take Tiki Sla. If there's anybody else that has been waiting and has not taken place in the cookies, please let me know. I'll wait most of these. So I'm going to try to be as fair as possible. Uh, don't need 502. Don't need the handgun. Okay, so we'll go to C-Bank 4. There we go. It's a putting random letters while walking. Not bad. And we're going to quit. So the XP here is rather crazy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. He was only 174. Sorry, I was thinking of a different character. But I guess it's time for Dumpling to be used again. I feel like we've been pretty good about using characters. I maybe haven't used Waluigi, mostly because we haven't done cave stuff. I feel like we did use Static Thick a little bit, but we need to get him a uh, add slot for his Tempest Cloak so he could be on point thematically. Because I do like using him in uh, Terrell's Ego. So potentially if we weren't doing cookie runs, I would be playing him right now in Terrell's Ego. Make the game name Ziggy. Password is King. Game is up in Fodra, block two. I'm just saying to myself, I really hope I put my add ups away. <laughs> That's all I'm thinking. I'm like, did I put all the add ups away? Okay, looks like there's nobody else waiting in the wings. Perfect. All the add-ups were there. We're gonna double add-up, and then I think we're going to... Gafoe merge, and we should be good to go. 
So sadly, I can't see how set up she is if her gafoe has been set up properly. Which is a little bit of a shame. Wish there was a way to check it while I'm in town. I'm not aware of how to do that if there is a way. As I want to specifically arrange the technique menu, which you can't use by default. So we have one open slot. There we go. The parameter has taken it. Mm. I don't think there's something to do here. I think this is fine. So we have Vito 1, we have our ridiculously overpriced magical piece. I'm surprisingly not max MST with this character. Pretty close. Oh, forgot to get the most important thing, but we'll start the quest. So we're gonna do Desert. So that'll be Heaven Striker. Surface is not bad, you potentially get Cannon Rouge. So let's say we'll do... B3. I think I'm up to three. And I think I need sleep. Mmm, dessert. Yeah, pretty much. So our goal is to never ever use anything other than the quick menu here, because I'm going to cast as fast as possible. I'm going to go ahead and pay the toll. So come, everybody. If you didn't bring a melee weapon, it's not the end of the world. Oh, Gafoe is down here. Yeah, I put the basic techniques there. So I did Rebarda was on. Okay. So uh, I ended up reasoning back into the same build that I've been using across the characters. That's kind of convenient. The only difference is where Gafoe is placed. Which, honestly, is probably fine. Technically, we could do this on Anguish 1, but we'll, we'll keep the cookies basic. Yeah, I have like a million years to confirm Gafoe here. As a reminder, the reason we do this is that we want frame-perfect casts. This does actually make a difference. So if my fireball does 500, I'm potentially doing 500 more to every enemy that spawns. Or a thousand if I manage to get a double stack if they're really close to me on spawn. Which is a lot of damage. So two people perfect casting can basically treat themselves as a third force for two people that mash. Just by getting that one extra fireball, it's just absolutely busted. So for the most part, I'm just going to focus on Gafoe stacking. But on some waves, I'll try doing other things. So you can see like they lost the majority of their health before they got to do anything. This is why we want to keep Gafoe stacking. Speaking of which, look at the lizard HP. Got wrecked. By subtly lizards. So many enemies to Gafoe stack on. And again, this XP per second, we're already at 560 something. Kind of nice. Congratulations on 132. Oh, I see a Slicer Fanatic. Nice, love to see it. Oh, look at that. I almost one-shot the Marissas. So you see the difference of, like, the stat? If I'm allowed to just sit there and stack how much damage that does, that was almost 3,000. We just straight up almost one-shot the Marissas as, like, a not 100. Is she fully optimized? Oh, she's using Ignition Cloak. Okay. So she's technically optimized because she has Magical Piece plus that. And we almost one-shot. So any other kind of lingering damage just just GG to them. Let's to lure the Gritabulu so the team has a faster time killing that. I feel like that's appropriate. And again, we, we're pretty much always going to be stacking. There's some waves, arguably, I don't have to do it, but... I end up helping give it raw moral OP. I love the fake forests.
So our goal is to just kind of debuff problem enemies. Stack double re disappointing. Let the team handle the big bads. We see a wave like this though, we gotta be more proactive. So we're gonna do something like this. The way the team can actually get a kill. The nice thing is I basically full screen heals. It's pretty easy for me to support. Only had a couple stacks there, but better than nothing. GG's with the enemies. Let's escape all dropping. Debuff time. So again, we, we basically have already passed the TTF amount of XP in like none of the time. It's very silly. And again, the more stacks I'm able to get out, the faster the run goes. Let's try to get our stacks on point again. Well, this is potentially really big damage. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Look at their health bars melt, GG. So yeah, once Goron Detonator dies, it's basically over. Yeah. And a nice little debuff going here for the team. Way they take more damage. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna pause briefly to go fix the soundtrack. We still have a lot of songs left. We are not that close. It looks like our buffs are sort of wearing off, but not really. Alright, so we know this next wave is going to be a lot of Rissa, so let's start stacking. So that way, once they get a little closer, they should take massive damage. I'll try to deband after this for people that are close to me. Wow, I managed to make them not run away until the team shot them. That was pretty good. So my positioning was on point there. If I can hit them with Fireball to soften them up and they don't run, that's good for us. That's potentially a lot of Easter eggs. That suit was so dead. It's already at 248,000 XP. Pretty solid, pretty solid. Team is murdering the Goron Detonator. Teamwork. Ooh, so many stacked up boys. Goodbye, Marissas. You're done. Yeah, two forces stacking and then oops all casts after that is a disgusting combo. This will help with the zoo. Up time, heal the team. There we go, we're doing support things. <laughs> but then back to Gavoe spam. It's poor enemies. 600 XP a second. Good job, team. Mercers are about to melt. GG to the Mercer that spawned near me. Okay, that's the penultimate wave, so I know I need to move. Let's get out of the center of the room, because I don't feel like dealing with Gerdabulu. And I guess we'll help with some zaps or whatever. Do a little minor damage here. Do regulars on, why not? Was that a Rabarda? I actually need those. Did run out, as we found out earlier. Speed this up a little bit with some grants. GG, that's 309,000 experience. Nearly instantly, honestly. So sadly, no weapon drops. Indeed, very wild stuff. So if you ever want to have incentive to uh, play Halloween, 
related events. I highly recommend you do so. These are the things you get if you collect enough cookies. Just spamming these over and over. Defense material. Don't need these. I have no idea where the Rabarda is in this room, though, is the problem. It's here somewhere for sure. Just where is the question? Uh, take the die grinder. Take the tri grinder. The die fluid. Take another die fluid, because why not? There's the Rabarda. Okay. I was gonna say, that was the main thing I was looking for. I'm actually out. So we need to keep those for later. Let's go ahead and just teleport out of here. Put away the Rebarda. Let's do at least... We'll try to do two more. I'm feeling kind of tired, but uh, I think I can make it. Got the resist burning. A good amount of materials. So she's pretty far from leveling, but if I do two Halloween quests, she will level. I think that's kind of the problem with where I'm at with the uh, raw cast, where he's getting close, but he just needs to be doing like five, six high XP quests back to back to level. So I think on Friday, I'll just try to focus on some of those characters to try to level them. Maybe we'll do another red TTF or something. So two more, same team. Actually, it's kind of crazy. None of us at least saw a disc of Brave Man. It's not that rare. Especially at 150 rare, 150 draw. Kind of unlucky. Oh well. Let's see, don't need any of these. I picked up so many dye fluids, it's like I didn't use anything. Got two free slots in case something interesting drops. Parameter is tapping out. Oh, Dango's in. <laughs> that, that was that that was the snap join. Dango's like, I'm in. <laughs> but sure thing. Thank you for playing with us in Parameter. Hopefully you get some rest. Yeah, that raw cast has been rocketing up in levels. So it should be much easier to join multiplayer with him now. Due to the raw ATP. <laughs> I like she clips into the floor. Um, oops. Alright chat, oops. Sega oops. I don't think I was- oh, oh, that was an interesting flip. I don't think she's supposed to clip into the floor. She definitely small. Just look, just boom in the floor. But anyway, Dango is now here. Thank you, Dango. Your emotes grace the screen once more. Ooh, it's that one. <laughs> Trumpets and skulls. What a combo. I like the blank face. That, that's something I would do. Where I'm like, I just, I don't know what to put. I do like the, the goofy shouty one. Please don't hit me. There we go. He's going wild right now.
I can see Moriak using a red weapon of some sort. We'll ask after the combat is over if you're interested in like a charge gun year or something. Hopefully it might have some. <laughs> like that abrupt music pause. Sure, we'll take this song. Heavenly Mon, nice. Time. I'm it by accident. Hell, oh, gun years. The reason you have hell gun years? Because that gets reduced. So I'm a little confused. You mean berserk? By the satellite lizards and yaoi's. I was thinking if you wanted to just use charge gun year or whatever, or berserk gun year. I do you like Asteron Bill? There's a very funny item on the Fomar. He's like, look at me, I'm tanky. Ooh, those are really good stacks. I was one Gafoe from killing them all. Perfect stacks. What a damage difference when I stack. And we'll have team clean up literally everything that is isn't stackable. The jump team. I think it's debuff time now. People like those on specials anyway. Interesting. Yeah, I still kind of use Asteron as a beat stick. That's definitely my Fomar's beat stick. It's, it's a spear with 50 hit for me. I'm like, yeah, there we go. Event egg, nice. Just because... It I guess it's more useful in single player. I just imagine the resistances are just too high in multiplayer for that to be useful with the reduction. Unless you're playing like lower difficulty or something. Because the one half slash one third is brutal. I feel like most enemies would just be immune in ultimate. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought people were looking for those. But hey, the more you know, I guess. Got a 50 native, 50 dark one. Oh yeah, that is really good for episode 4 runs from Restless Lion. I'm slowly identifying acronyms, chat. It's a very slow process for me. I deal with too many acronyms in the workplace. So whenever there's anything in alignment with the game, I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. My brain just goes to work terms. Or it, I just don't know the acronym at all, which is the case if you name a quest, because I never pay attention to the quest names. Well done, draw. Okay. debuff everybody here, back to spamming. Yep, 
Yeah, you can see it turns green, so it just confirms it. It's like, don't worry, we'll cast it for you when it's ready. Get in range. They're. Oh! Brit Murphy. So I lost my position to reapply buffs. Let's try to get back to the center, roughly. I think here was good. Build the team. Finish them off with the Foey. Hopefully I'm far enough forward that all the Rappies don't get spooked. Yeah, pretty much. Team unfortunately spooks them. Rip. Yeah, keep in mind when they're spooked, they don't drop the event eggs. All the enemies. Oh wow, he said Destiny 2. I was like, oh boy. Goodbye, Marissa's. BBX asking us, what quest is this? Welcome to BBX to the stream. Uh, we are just doing some Halloween cookie quests in Easter. So if you see our XP is going out of control, we're almost averaging 590 experience a second, which is a lot. Most quests out of XP week net you maybe between like 100 and 140 and maybe really good quests do like 180 plus. Holiday stacking for value, exactly. I mean, to be fair, doing these during Christmas makes more sense. Well, they're just Christmas cookie quests. Right now they're Easter cookie quests, which don't quite work. But to be fair, ne neither does Halloween Cookie, so I feel kind of it evens out. Let's heal the team here. That's on 142. Sadly, just like literally nothing dropping. This is kind of disappointing, not gonna lie. But hey, the XP at least, 301,000, is kind of bonkers. Goodbye, Gertabulu. E2 dye fluids to finish off the thing. Okay, is there anything even worth picking up aside from this power material? I don't think so. Some dye mates. Oh, there's a Disco Brave Man. Yeah, that was weird. We went that long without seeing it. It's not even that rare. Okay, so I think we could do one more. Need to find a Razan, level 29. I mean, I have a million if you need those. <laughs> just, just let me know. There's one in my bank. It's just sitting there. Oh, you're, fi you're trying to find the one on the floor. That's fair. Good luck with that. Yeah, definitely helps with the item reader to uh, just very quickly not have to go through 140 drops. <laughs> it saves so much time. Let's talk to this guy, hand it in. Yeah, Snake Spire is not great. I mean, if, if you're not using the special in your spear, because I don't know what kind of weapon it is, maybe it's okay. Just like a very basic partisan. 
But if you have like a charge gun year, it's much better to use charge gun year. Or if you have a good Yun Chang, Yun Chang is also good. Astron Belt is like a big beat stick as well. So we'll do one more quest into... Maybe that's it? I'm not sure I'm up to a TTF. We'll see. I'm definitely feeling the workday at the moment. But hey, we started early, so we got almost 5 hours plus the PSO. Look forward to that on YouTube. Red weapons were a charge Gatling 40 hit. Mm -hmm. Dango has arrived. And a high oh, just a high hit partisan. Yeah, then I guess if the if you're able to land normal power power kind of things, it's probably good enough. Snake Spire is okay in that regard. So final cookie of the night. EBD of final quest of the night. Everybody to spawn. There we go. Anyway, back to Kafoe spamming. Yeah, satellite lizards dodge projectiles from the front. So unless you got a freeze trap. Melee is recommended. Hello there, Gritabulu. Don't mind me, I'm just in your hitbox. Disrespecting you. Debuff, debuff. Back to spamming. Throw me that dragon scale before you go. Sure. I'll have to switch to the component character. I would be very surprised if I didn't have at least two. Nice level up. Just because of how much I was doing, uh, b -b 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 pod. A lot of characters abusing pod. Get rid of these. I guess for the team, back to Chloe spam. They knocked me a little off center there. Wow, I had so much lingering Gafoe. I actually stopped casting for like almost four seconds. They were still getting hit by new Gafoe. It's kind of funny to me. Correct. The skill liberator. Uh... On the plus side, I'm gonna level with this character. So closer to Red Ring if I feel like using Red Ring for neural, which is a funny, funny statement to me. I might do it as a joke. Maybe I'll have her host a TTF. Maybe. Although, oh, do I really want to stun loop on the machine, the boss though? I don't think I do. Feels like a bad time. Yeah, then I have to get her Crimson Code out. Yeah, never mind. I want to do that. <laughs> I'm like, uh, Vault Ops a problem. I think for a while I did try to do boss runs with her, and then it was just like... I At the time, I didn't have a Red Saber, so it was just so miserable getting through Vault Op. Both Phase 1 and Phase 2 were like half the run easy. Balls was simple, because Simple Tech d did real damage. And then I can Gafoe the far away uh, spinners very easily. Mm 
Little Goron Detonator. Ooh, the double hit. Almost died. Like how I went from taking 800 damage total to just 200. What a difference Jelen made there. I can use a Tri Fluid before we go back to Gafoe. Nice level up. Oh. I waited actually. Put the Tri Fluid. For some reason, I thought I had already leveled. That's fine. So five more levels for a red ring if I want to use it with her. Which, I guess if I get challenge mode weapons, maybe? Because her being able to land things like Slicer would be interesting. But out of curiosity, Bibiax, do you have any characters in Ultimate? What kind of items are you hunting for? Get rid of these lizards. Get a rare drop of an egg, not bad. Get a red ring for the shared, maybe. There's only a couple characters- like, I don't think a majority of my forces need it other than Fomar or Fomar. I guess in theory my Fo Newman could use it, but... I don't- I basically since he's hit level 200, he's- he's effectively retired. I've basically not touched him since he hit that level. So I just don't like playing with max characters. So I should probably at some point take some of his items away. Unless it's Christmas event. Then then I'll play him if I have to play him kind of things. Now let's go back to stacking. We did his allure there so they can actually damage the boss. I think it's more important we get the stack down. Oh hey, rare enemy. That took quite a while for that to appear, I'm not gonna lie. Given that uh, Halloween quest has boosted rare raid. Limbers just dropped. That time I think that was my fault. I think it was not high up enough. I like how you're saying the other characters, like... I, I'm just gonna break it to you, Hellcleave. All the characters that need it, have it. The only characters I'm even thinking about it was like, war is a joke. Dumpling, Dumpling doesn't really need it. If I, if I hit 180 with my blue ID Phonuman, I probably still wouldn't use it, just because he only does, like, very hard mode. I, I guess... I guess I could get one for the Humor. <laughs> like, that's the only other character, I think, that doesn't have one waiting already. So I think of it's seven. So all, all my primary ATP is covered. So Hugh Cast will have one, Hugh Castile has one. Udo Roll has one. Fomoral has one. Ramar has one. Ramoral has one. I guess if I level my other Fomoral, maybe. She's really far away from that, though. I think that's the only other candidate for Red Ring. Then I might actually just get rid of Red Rings for PDs. I do have fun with the quest, but it's like... Sometimes you just want to mix it up a little bit. So if I'm not in a pressure to get like another red ring, which I'm basically not at this point, since the Hue cast is like nowhere near to hitting 180. Nice, nice. Yeah, and I don't really need another Parasitic Gene Flow. If I do get one, it's probably going to Dango. Congratulations on 143. So I feel like I'm basically done with the game. There's only a couple things I really want to do that are like long-term goals. One of them's challenge mode. So once I do challenge mode and complete it, honestly, I don't know. I don't know what I would stream after that with PSO. I have to think about it. Because I have enough raw PDs that I can just upgrade a couple S ranks if I do them back to back, for example. 
So if I went like a Hell Slicer and a Demon Mech Gun, for example, it's pretty much all I would be interested in. I'm not sure what to name the items though, sadly. PSO Episode 3? I mean, we might just do that on Fridays as soon as I'm done with uh, Dungeon Drafter, to be honest. Just to try it. Get really into battle mode? I don't know. I know. I don't want to do any competition stuff in this game. Please. Please. Okay. I think I'm awake enough to do one TTF. I'm, I don't think I'm awake enough to do an RT. <laughs> I'm just like, I thought about it for Dango, and I'm like, I'm too tired. It's not gonna happen. I'm, as soon as I get to the Bs, my brain is gonna check out. Not the Bs, chat, not the Bs. He's away. I think I'm mostly good here. I managed to find spare space for my materials. So I managed to finally trim it down, but I still almost kept on HP material. So I have to figure out another character to hold those. Hmm. I guess I'll bring in Hugh one last time. Try to go for some uh, Lavis Cannon slime duping shenanigans. I don't think the Phone New World is bad at balls. It's more like I would have to just kind of equip for it with Red Saber with Machine Percent plus Crimson Coat. I just don't feel like doing that right now. Maybe we'll start off next session with Red ID with her. Because that would require me digging in my character bank for the right items. And then I would have to compare my red sabers, which I don't feel like doing right now. But potentially she could do it. So we're going to do one TTF. So sadly, we did not come across any Heaven Strikers. In that run, we did come across some Disco Brave Bands, but not quite what we're looking for. So I guess the, the floor is open for the final run of the night. I'm bringing in the Huka Seal though. So if the same team is interested, we'll go there. <laughs> Make me buy it, maybe. I think I still have a spare one, technically. Give me that V101. Eventually. We do a lot of, uh... Green ID TTF, just not today. I think on Friday we'll do Green ID if you're around then. Today is more of a Red ID mood. The forecast is on her. Allegedly, the look is good. Wow, Dango already 188 and climbing. Ruffy's saying I'll probably do some solos, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, if you have, like, a Ramoro or Ramar solo, it could be really nice. I just realized I didn't get my weapon from the bank. Do I need it? Let me think. Oh no no, she, she had the dark flow, that's right. We're good. <laughs> I forgot to go to the bank and I forgot to even put, put it in the bank in the first place. We're good. Everything equaled out. Uh, I guess I should drain my HP here. A little happy confused trap down for them just because. Not that I expect them to die from that. They barely hurt each other. Oh my gosh, one of them actually died from Confuse. 
That takes so many hits, by the way. It takes them like 15 or something, if you count it. It's so horrible how slow that is to kill. But I guess if all, all of them target the same thing, I guess that works. Time to drain my HP. Come on, invincibility. Yeah, I like green ID runs. I like Viridian runs on this. Trying out red ID a bit more. Big laser light show time. See if we could glitch the HP. Oh, that oh, that was so close. Just like a couple frames early. And okay, we're gonna run. There we go. Okay, so we'll let the team deal with those. I'm just gonna slime, dude. I'm doing the greediest fool. Come here, slime. Come to me. Come to me. Oh, might not be far enough. Oh, you're far enough. Okay, good, good, good. Let the duping commence. Rip the enemy. So we're gonna go for the classic freeze trap here. So basically, we're doing we're doing a very greedy run. Chat can kill whatever they want. I'm gonna activate this room, so eventually we'll come back here. Dodge the Volmers. Time to dupe, and then we'll go back in the other room. Two, three. Come on, rare slime. Oh, no rare slime. Oh well. Time to mash that one until they cease existing. Like how I made it almost touch 200 XP a second there. Oh, we broke 200 XP a second. Man, that's so good. Okay, so they're gonna kill the final guy. I might as well just run. I don't think I got... Yeah, I didn't bring any telepipes. I ran out on the previous run. So I'm gonna rely on our humor here. Uh, I guess I'll bring Diska. Got invincibility, nice. I'm finally winning the roulette for once. Well, it's Jaya time. Eh, I'll hold off on using Jaya again for its special. I think I think spending thirty thousand ish is good enough. I don't feel like saving a second and a half to kill it faster. Whatever. As long as it gets one cycle, that's all I care about. Speaking of all I care about, time for them to have a little fun with me. Come on, just give each other high fives. There you go. Have fun in the aggressive high five championship. So we'll kill these for XP for the team. Again, we're doing like very greedy kills. We don't normally go for these in a run. But we have seen it before. I've cleared those out and people have gotten eggs from it. As long as we're not too, too far behind, as long as we can assist there. So as a reminder, we're going to be triggering the Sinnoh Red and then we're going to leave. If Chad is feeling really comfortable, we could just sit and kill the Barans, but we'll probably have at least one person go by just to kill the dub switch. So, like, I could probably kill a Barans if we really need to do that. 
Okay, dead. Oh no, who entered the room? Oh no. I don't know who entered the room, but that is really bad. Um, well, we can't do the strat anymore. Rip. It's fine. Okay, well, we're gonna have to- we're gonna cut, the, cut them down. We'll take some losses. Okay, so somebody should be line for the switch. We'll leave that to Murphy. Rip. It's okay. Okay, killed, killed. Nice. So let's go here. Perfect. So I'm gonna slow the thing up, but I can't be the one that stunlocks it. So I'm gonna shoot the monitor like twice, and then I leave it in the ranger's hands. Because <laughs> I am not stunlocking with you, Casil. It's not happening. I wanted the only characters not equipped for this. But after that, it should be fun. So I'm gonna hold right and then shoot. Do a little handoff there. The problem is the boss kind of desyncs for players, so sometimes it should stop them, but it doesn't. It's kind of unfortunate. Like, see how there's nothing on my screen, but the enemy's being damaged? So we know the boss is desynced a little bit. Oh, uh, whoever is using shotgun, don't do that. So for those not aware, only one person should be handling monitors due to how the boss iframes work. And that'll also cause desync. Get rid of the vault up there. Because it'll actually make it take longer. It's interesting. Welcome, Barkeep. Thank you for the subscription. Hopefully you're doing well. Yeah, this boss... The phase one's kind of weird in the sense that, like, it checks your ATP. So high ATP is needed no matter how you hit the boss. But then, like, if you destroy the monitors too fast... Because the boss has iframes, it you actually do less damage over time if you burst it. You're alive well enough. I'm oh, glad you're doing well, Barkeep. Not sure if you caught any of the races so far. I know certain tournaments happening currently. For this month, that is. Okay. So my little strat I like to do, I pause trick through, I freeze trap, I lure them in the corner, I bait a swing, murder. Only caught game three? Interesting, interesting. I haven't been following it super closely. Okay, so as, le as long as one person goes to the door to the south, it's fine. It looks like team's doing this, so I'm gonna volunteer to go kill the sorcerer. Get rid of these. Hopefully, it's been nice. By Grand Sorcerer. Ooh. Why am I getting attacked by these? What's happening? Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, I wonder if Team. Ki oh, maybe Team killed all the Arlins. I'm like, why am I getting attacked suddenly when I'm putting the Sorcerer? That's crazy. I mean, it's good. We should probably kill those for Advent Eggs. It's unexpected. Okay, so we're gonna kill up to the sorcerer and then we're gonna leave. The reason we kill up to the sorcerer is because there's a psycho one chance. And that's it. As soon as the sorcerer is dead, we're out. We don't bother fighting anything else. Hi. No psycho one. We tried. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been paying too close attention to the tournament, but maybe in the future. Try to catch an episode or two. Unfortunately, it kind of lined up with PSO Easter event, so it's like this is when I'm gonna be the busiest with streams, sadly. So I'm not gonna be able to catch it until way after. Like March, I would have been good. May would have been good. April, bad. Been working a lot. Hopefully, things aren't too bad at work then.
Oh yeah, I'm fighting the fatigue. <laughs> I'm spinning around. I didn't get hit though. I'm happy that even while tired, I'm not botching the spins too badly. There's so many annoying spinners to go for. Get rid of you, get rid of you. Um... I could dark flow this, actually. Don't mind me, just lowering my HP. Yeah. Rid of a couple of these. Keep thinking of myself will stream after work, then I get home late enough to answer the phone at least twice a night. Ooh, that's unfortunate. The team, I'm gonna walk up and dark flow this boss from existence, but I'm gonna not do it on this head. I love that I can see when I swing. <laughs> just 4k just disappears. Goodbye, boss. Look at that. Well, thank Tiggy for inspiring me to lower my health and get good at that phase. Thank you, Tiggy. Oh. Uh... Oh? Did my last little revenge swing. Oh, great pattern. Didn't even have to dodge any spells there. So we're gonna make sure we're above, what is it, 800 health so we don't get slapped to death. So I'm gonna eat a dimate and then just attack. I'll take like a micro step and then attack. That way if the slap comes, we don't just perish. Ooh, full screen for me, brutal. For all the rangers out there, Foey that falls. There we go, I saw a Foey. GG. Damn, that was a fast falls. Like that was, that was good pattern into not short cycler. It's fast. GG. Team should be proud of that kill. 13 minutes, not bad. My rule of thumb is... Unless we're playing like a jank comp, we're gonna go like 14 minutes or less. A scepter with 50 hit, I'm so sad. One day chat. We'll, we'll get a good draw from this one day. So one more TTF and she will level, but... I think that's about it for me, sadly. So yeah, there's a lot of nuance with the TTF and we've been running it forever. So we'll try to point out things to kind of improve the run, but I think overall the team went through pretty well. So yeah, nothing to, nothing to be sad about for sure. Spinners, I think, just take a lot of practice. They get, they get everybody. GG's man, thanks for the games. Never played with someone streaming before. Hmm. You know what? We'll do it for Mariok. I'll do one more TTF. Same character. Fortunately, I don't have to drive to work tomorrow. Kind of want that level up. So regardless if I get red ring, I'm gonna get that level up. Yeah, let's do one more. I definitely don't want to do RT though. RT is for when I'm more awake. <laughs> I'm like, Hugh Castile, it's fine. Shooty, shooty, bang, bang, I'm good. I just gotta bring out my vice. Make sure I swap into that. That's the only thing that kind of makes me sad is that, like, because the boss goes full screen, I have to swap from Vice to Swan and vice versa. Whereas, like, if I'm a Ranger, I just do Heaven Striker. TTF 98% autopilot. Oh, well, I got I actually have to try slightly in Towards the Future. I, I gotta set up the slime kills. <laughs> That, that requires some effort, because I'm skipping every encounter. <laughs> That's about it, though. So we'll, we'll do take two on the mines. So as long as we avoid the Sinnoh Blues, because all they have is Kasami Bracer, which we don't really care about. 
That was just an absolute deletion. I'm gonna kill you just a little over my HP. Yeah, there we go. I mean, will this work? No, not really. They split it up. That's unfortunate. Okay, lower HP. Yeah, nice, nice healthy 23. Sounds like what I want. Some charge disc here. Nice. <laughs> now the question is, will I get invincibility? Ooh, no invincibility. That's gonna be fun. You know what was sad earlier, chat? That happened to me right before the stream. I was playing Respective Tomorrow on Blue ID. I did not get invincibility. I put myself at 3 HP. I dodged the dragon breath. I died by walking too close to the dragon and it walked into me. It was so sad. <laughs> I just, I just closed out of the run. I'm like, the run's over. <laughs> GG. Yeah, sound, sound the trumpets. It's over. I was like, man, I died to the foot damage. Oh, it, it took damage that time. So we got the glitch. So they tried to fix it. It still exists. If you time it so that like it's about to straighten up, but it isn't roaring, and you strike it at that time. You could carry over damage to the next phase, and characters like Hucast can just instantly kill the dragon, and they don't even need to swing for the next phase, which I find kind of funny. Set up the glitch. There we go. Let me go in the middle here and summon the slime. Come to me, slime warrior. Yeah, come here, come here. Over here. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. Embrace slime. Let's see, we're duping them. Oh, that was scary. Oh, a vent egg. I gotta go back for that. Sucks. Well, we're gonna play the dodging mini game. <laughs> right, chat? Oh, like, I have to go back for that. Normally, I just ignore it. Unfortunate. Hey, okay, chat's ahead of me this time, which is good. So what I'll do to assist them. I'm going to put a freeze trap in here for anybody that wants to kill Lilies. Fun with that. Oh, I went off too early or something. That's unfortunate. So we'll clear this room. One, two, three. Okay. Fire trip. Fire trap duplication activated. Spam the one. Okay, let's see how much XP we can get the group. Here it comes. So many slimes. Event egg. Paid for itself. Proof of why I do this. Why I'm enjoying the red ID runs. Uh, I might as well stay in this room, I guess. I didn't get a telepipe, though, which is a bit sad. Rely on other people for that. So the, the reason we talk about telepipes is that from the other room, for the people that hit the enemy, if you tell the pipe when we mention it, you can just take the warp rather than walk here. It saves a lot of time. So, like, Mariak is walking there, just, like, comparatively. It's, like, a five or six second time save. It depends on what your group's doing. When I do Red ID, it's a bit more jank, so not everybody is together. If we were doing, like, Green ID, for example, people would be more grouped together. Also, they get invincibility. That's so sad. One day chat, we will. I'm gonna move from Dango, just in case. Well, that was a really fast kill. Good job, team. But yeah, I think from that standpoint, it's just like, this little time save. Sometimes I do them, sometimes I don't. It depends on what the run I'm doing is. Red ID tends to not telepipe as much, just because they are busy duping slimes rather than being at the door. So they don't save as much time as some of the other IDs, I guess is what I'm saying. And man oh man, Confused Trap is so good here. So we'll get at least a couple of guaranteed kills. And sadly with the guild chicks, you have to stay kind of close to them, because if you go too far away, they stop punching each other. Which is a bit sad. So we got two extra kills, maybe that'll give a PD. So overall, with our slime duping shenanigans, 
We did get an extra event egg from it, so it kind of pays off over time. The so team is cleaning these up. I'm going to hustle as much as I can. Killing these is not a bad idea to do if you're waiting for the Red Sinnoh. I sometimes do that if I'm green ID solo. But I think with my timing, I'll be there just as Red Sinnoh comes down. Oh, he's not targetable. That's so sad. All right, so let's group up a little bit before we hustle in. So we're going to go... Okay, let's go, let's go. So what I could do here is I could do something like a quick freeze trap here. And if I pause trick, I can actually turn around and just absolutely kill one of them. Other rangers can go focus the other things as needed. Uh-oh, team's not attacking the brands. Oh, almost died. That's fine. We're good. Just a little missile jump scare, nothing to worry about. <laughs> and there we go. And that's just a way, like, especially if there's somebody with, like, Dark Flow that is also low on HP, uh, they can potentially one-shot the Barans as a Hue cast, for example. Tinky does that a lot on our stream. So, basically, as long as one person, with usually with a Cannon Rouge, goes and hits the dub switch, we could clear that room pretty quickly. Alternatively, if you're, like, really underleveled... I'm gonna stop shooting, actually. If we're, like, really underleveled, what we'll end up doing is, uh, Confuse Trapping them, which is okay. That's better to do if you're waiting for Blue Sinnohs, for example. So if you're, if you're doing a full Blue Sinnoh farm, it's okay to do that. But it can make movement out of the room a little trickier. There we go. I think one more monitor down and it should be over. See, so yeah, we do a lot of normal, normal, normal with spread needle. Perfect. And that goes really fast. Also, I learned from Tiggy. If I bring my Disco Brave Man there, I can actually Berserk special that to drain my health faster. But sadly, I don't have Disco on me. I just have charged Disco. That was a fast kill. I should feel proud of that. That boss got deleted. Okay. So we're gonna do our little setup that I do in single player and multiplayer. We do this basic work regardless. Pause trick pass. Freeze trap in between the two of them. Walk in the corner. Bait and attack as needed. And goodbye, Darkbringer. Just works. Yeah, there's little movement tips or text that you could do to get through this room. So, for example, if I go here, I can actually zigzag through these enemies depending on my timing. Looks like I was unfortunately not quite the first person in the room I thought it was. And if you do that, you could squeeze through without attacking, which is kind of nice. Nice freeze. So let's get rid of these enemies. Wait for the team a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Sometimes we kill them, sometimes we don't. I usually skip killing them if it's not an event, but given that Easter eggs can drop, I might as well as kill them. They don't otherwise have a great item, so they're very skippable in other runs. But for badges and stuff, I'll go out of my way. Okay, moment of truth. Final cycle wand attempt of the stream for the night. Nice level up. Well, I guess it proves it. The extra kills were worth it. <laughs> we got Dango to 189 right at the end. And somebody got an event egg from it. So there we go. It was paying off. The extra kills doing something. Yeah, definitely worth. Hmm. I guess I should gear us all. Let somebody else touch the statue. There we go. So now I'm set up to bully Dark Falls. I just have to dodge spinners for a little bit. It's not always the easiest thing to do. Fortunately, they seem to be ignoring me. Sometimes they just straight up hunt me across the arena, which is unfortunate when that happens. 
So I want to be on the this side over here, preferably. One of you. So yeah, the trick is to just make sure, just make sure to pause trick whenever you're walking around so that way you don't target. That makes it easier to escape the spinners. I'm a little far from the enemy, that's a bit unfortunate. So you can see I'm going like the hardcore mode. If I get touched at all, I'm pretty sure I die. Unfortunately, I think I recovered too much HP just by walking around. That's also the downside. My passive healing, I think, just trolled me. I don't think this will work. Oh no, I'm still low enough. Good, good, good. Uh, in which case, we're gonna blitz the boss. Yeah, look at that HP drop. Get out of here. Slap the boss from existence. There we go. Strats, I can do it multiplayer, but not single player. I'm gonna try to take a wild swing here. Maybe it'll connect. Too fast. Ooh. My other recommendation for this particular boss is if you put Soul Atomizer on your numpad, you can more quickly get rid of slow mo, and that lets you punish the boss faster. I think I'm being targeted. I was. I think I'm being targeted again. I am. Feeling, I'm feeling a little focused from falls there, chat. I'm just like, I don't have anywhere I can really go. I don't want to go in the middle of the arena. So I'll take the single hit on the side. Oh, if you do get knocked down prior to the cutscene, you can take advantage of that and heal if you want to. I'll take a safety mod on me, just in case I could double hit or something stupid. So we're gonna have- ooh. <sighs> you dirty short cycler. Dirty short cycler. Man, this boss would have been dead just then. That would have been such a good time. What a punk chant. Okay, boss is not quite at half health, so it's gonna swing again. Oh, it's so dead. Oh, <gasps> the invincibility was so good on falls. You win falls. You win this time. Oh, look at that damage done. It's only a few foes from death, honestly. Are you targeting me? That's just rude. I don't want any of that. Okay, we get one big opportunity to hit the boss. Let's go. Oh, I'm so dead. Somebody revive me when I die. You have permission to kill me. Just revive me. We're healed. That's fine. That also works, I guess. I'm like, sometimes you just gotta... <laughs> you just gotta not care about your HP. That's fine. I somehow didn't kill myself with that swan. But GG. So this will be the level up for me. Nice. A little bit of accuracy there. Yeah, we're popping these boxes, hoping we get a good 50 hit item of some sort in here, but sadly, so far, no. Oh well, good game. Again, under 14 minutes. Respectable. And a lot of it's caused because I'm player one. So I will take the blame for that because I make it awkward to kill Volov. So it's definitely me costing like 30 seconds. Because <laughs> I'm more likely to go there. 55 hit Vulcan. Oh, that sounds fun. Sadly, nothing like that dropped for me. If it identifies upwards, it could be usable out of force. Or if you just really never want to miss with Hugh Cast. 50 hit Hellglaive. I got nothing, chat. But it's fine. I gotta level up. So I'm only six levels away from Red Ring now.
Okay, so putting these away... What are our Easter egg totals looking like? Let me also make sure to put these away before I forget about them. We have attained 51 eggs so far, plus whatever everybody else is holding. It's not a bad amount of eggs. We're down to 26 cookies. I have 19 coal for some reason still. So we're getting there. Gotta figure out what to do with the HP material though, sadly. I did put away 99 of the grinders, so I believe I can now full rank two S rank weapons successfully. These are just kind of my floating grinders, which I don't have many of. So that's not going to be too bad. Oh, by two I mean four, because I have the tri grinders, which are kind of overkill. Yeah. I should be able to max uh, four S rank weapons. So I think I'm good with grinders for now. I'm still going to pick up extras if I see them, but they're not going to be as high priority. I did pick up like. 70 plus off stream. So that helped a little bit. And a lot of them were try grinders. Okay, chat. So I'm going to hand in the quests and we'll talk about how we think things went doing some cookies in TTF for the wrap up. GG's to everybody. He's never happy. He's like, A rank only. You foolish fools. Also, I need to get help leave an item. I barely remember. <laughs> oh, so I, I did that before I read the message. I win this time, help leave. <laughs> Despite being tired, I remembered I needed to do that. So let's talk about the wrap up as I do this. So we did get a decent amount of PDs, I think, across the team. Nothing like insanely crazy, but like serviceable. We got to play with new people today. That's always fun. Sadly, we still need to give people more items. So we're going to go to our component character. We're going to give Helkleeve a dragon scale since he's offering to make a mag. And then I can pay him PDs later. Ah, uh, yes, my, my level one component character. Sure, we'll just call it Sinky. Like how it just tells me welcome to Affinia. I'm like, this character has almost had more playtime than my humor. It's even this character's max on HP material. Five god, what a name. I have two dragon skills, I'll give one to Hell Cleave. Let's see, is there anything else she needs to put away? Rapid's beep. D relay shells, mulas. Cookie when you're done, sure thing. So yeah, we've been hoarding a lot of components, including stuff for barriers. So we mostly just need the amplifiers, which we do get randomly while playing. So many S beats. Well, if anybody wanted a D, a D roll A shell, let me know. Yeah, we do just have a Parasitic Gene Flow in our bank. I thought so. I was like, I remember holding one thinking I'll get a Caliber eventually. That never happened. Ooh, do I want a Rafoe Barrier? Maybe? Do you have two red barriers? I definitely want a Gifoe Barrier. Uh, Rizond is useless on yellow. Do I have any Gizons? No. It's unfortunate. Here's my ad slots. Let me just... One, two... You know what? Let me just grab all these. These in the share bank for later. Uh... I could check my characters one more time to see if there's any items I can use to get to potentially Mario. take a look real quick. I have a character dedicated to just giving out items. Welcome is 30 native, 55 hit. That's not bad. Again, sometimes you just need to land the hit. 
I think Hellcleave is using like a ridiculous... Set was it 70 hit or 65 Hellcleave on your Fomaril? Like sometimes you just want to land the Vulcan. I'll do what's the, the... Oh, 90s, my bad. Wow, that's pretty high. Fomaril never missing. <laughs> I was gonna say, wait a minute, Fomar never missing as well? Wow, okay. Yeah, we have a lot of random units for people. Um... Get these young Changs away at some point. The same accuracy as a naked Ramar, something like that. Amora Rose was weirdly entertaining. Songes. Game magazine that I can use for some reason. Random Barans launchers. Frozen shooters. I don't see a spread needle in here so far. You have a 35 machine saber. Let me pull that out in case I have to use that on the other character later. Oh, I have a single spread needle. <laughs> all I got in here. Everything else has been given away. And I have random King Strikers, presumably for like Caduceus or whatever. Hmm. Oh yeah, that reminds me of Mario. If you're still here, did you want a hand-me-down demon gun of some sort? Because that helps with high-level play. Oh, oops, forgot to switch banks. Oh no, I did switch banks, we're good. I just, the item count was similar. Fine. Look for the game with the random letters in it. <laughs> just, it's, it's on a block too. Yeah, we'll just give these away. They should go to a good home. So we'll give a demon ray gun away. Also give a demon laser. Thirty hit vice, maybe. Spread needle. Are these other ones like mandatory is the question. <laughs> Red partisan with it. That that is a high hit partisan. Listen, if you just don't want to miss, it's there. Alright, I gotta pay attention. Did you have a frozen shooter, by the way? Okay, nice, nice. It's also unreduced. Yeah, I was kind of laughing in there. I don't I don't remember where I picked it up. I just had it. That Red Partisan is good. Yeah. I'm thinking about what I want to do with it. I might actually move it off of uh, this bank and give it back to HughCast. I think the HughCast was using it for a while. Yeah, I think that's all I have for Mariak here. Unless you needed, like, a... Battle, like a heavenly battle or something. Oh, no, no, I think you said you'd be one of one. Never mind. Yeah. I guess if you need a cure shock or something, just let me know. I don't think there's anything else that's too crazy in here. I guess if you wanted a support item, I could give you a Terrell's. Just to extend your buff range. Followed your instructions and gambled lots. Yeah. Gambling good. So I have a 50 hit berserk caliber. Or comes like, on to on something monster, I forget which but that does increase, so no one not using me. Try to get random units, that's fair. Uh I don't think Crimson Coat buffs Red Partisan. It's weird because like the Crimson Coat, like, it only works on like three items or something dumb. There's so many red items it should work on and doesn't. It's really insulting. Yeah, I was I was about to look up if it was the dagger. I know it was the saber and the slicer, but then like it doesn't work with red handgun, right? Like there's there's other red items that are not there. Oh well, I think that's all I have then for basic weapons. Unless you needed an elemental staff or something, I have like a million of those.
Yeah, that's like one of the things, if they were gonna customize it, I was like, man, that partisan would be so good. Okay, you're good. Okay, and then we'll wrap up then. I don't think I have anything else to give. Unless you have a... Actually, you know what? If you don't have a Slicer Fanatic, you will join the Slicer Fanatic Club. Enjoy. That item is so dumb. <laughs> That's your anti gurdafulu weapon, or Episode 2, or anything you want, because Slice is broken. Join the Slicer Fanatic Club. It's so fun. Just remember to do the glitch where you throw with the special attack and before special attack lands you do a normal and that way it takes the as though you had done a second normal attacks worth of accuracy so even if it's if you have an accuracy reader that says you have like a 98 percent chance of landing normal that's secretly what you're using and higher to land your special so you have characters even like your forces consistently landing three quarter health stuff and it absolutely deletes end game content so if nothing else it should be pretty funny to use it doesn't even need hit percentage. That's the funny part due to the glitch. But anyway, I think that's all for now. We gave away some items to players. We helped new players. Yeah, that Slicer Fanatic is like MVP. The fact that the fact that Slicer Fanatic is not on the on most of the recommended guides to me is crazy. The item is so powerful. It's crazy. It's not even that expensive to get. It's like on no lists. It's so sad. And this is why we gotta do a guide. <laughs> right, chat? One day, we'll do a guide on it, I promise. You you better believe I'm gonna put Slicer Fanatic as like top five support items across all characters. What a ridiculous weapon. Yeah, being able to hit potentially three targets, reduce them to within kill range of anything. Kind of, kind of crazy in multiplayer. The fact that it, it gets better in multiplayer versus worse is kind of funny to me. What a weapon. But anyway, so we helped new players, we cookied with new people, we did TTFs with new people, and then we're there. Game has a lot of extremely non-obvious info about it. Sometimes it's hard to um, work out with uh, without community help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Gertabulu... It's one of those things because Gurdabulu has multiple parts. The fact that it can hit the enemy more than once is insane. It's very silly. It's like the Gurdabulu delete button. Like, that one feels intended, but the fact that, like, you can use it in episode 2 and you could throw it on, like, the apes or the robots and then they die in, like, one slicer swing after that is really funny to me. It's like, oh man, they're so defense tanky. What are we gonna slicer slicer gone? <laughs> Just like, oh, never mind. Never mind, we figured it out. Mystery solved. So yeah, that's gonna be one of my highly recommended ones. I'm gonna bring it up on every character section. I'm like, did you bring your Slicer of Fanatic? Go spend like two PDs with episode four. But yeah, with that spread needle, Mariak will now be able to do uh, Volt Op stun locks by just normal, normal, normaling. Uh, the screens, it's also not bad to potentially push back enemies, especially if you're not using like a charge arm. Because it scales very well with damage, because you attack very quickly with it. So higher ATP does work well with it, compared to some of the other items that you could potentially use. But yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and pause the Sonic Olympic, or not Sonic Olympic, Sonic Boom Fire and Ice soundtrack, which apparently we were only down to just two songs left. We were going through sound effects for some reason for a while. But anyway, I think that's all we're going to say for now. Go go get your Slicer Fanatic today. What a what a ridiculous item. And for those watching on YouTube or the VOD, I guess it's now time to say goodbye. So hopefully you enjoyed the content today. We'll be doing more PSO until basically the end of the event. And hopefully see you in the next part.